Well, this morning, a special project is being unveiled today that will give us this living history of some of our most treasured people here. This is about reflecting on aging, right? The past experiences, losing memories and more. And joining us now is Joyce Roslin and Rose Lieberman to talk about the Faces of Summit. What, what is the Faces of Summit, ladies? The Faces of Summit is an idea by the Life Enrichment Committee. They ask for volunteers and 23 of us uh, volunteered. We took our pic they took our pictures and we wrote uh, a short uh, blurb of our lives. Yeah. You know, what uh, mine was, I had a dream <clears throat> and my dream was moving to California and picking up lock, stock and barrel. My children were in high school. I took them out of high school oh, and wow. uh, my husband and I left our jobs and put our furniture in storage and took off. And moved to California. And moved to California. Where were you from originally? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I hear <laughs> it. I still hear, I hear Brooklyn. It. And I understand all the participants are at least 80 and into their 100s. Oh, yes. Right? Yes, we have someone there that's 104, and she's in better shape than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Probably me, too. <laughs> and uh, it's a wonderful group of people. And uh, the, having the uh, push off today at, uh, at the summit, all the families are invited. Oh, neat. And, uh, it, you should come and see the wall. It's beautiful. It's our wall. Yeah, that's amazing. And who is a Holocaust survivor? Rose. Rose, you are. <coughs> Welcome. It's amazing. Did you Welcome. write about that? Welcome to my club. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here this morning. What did you write about? Well, I was born in Poland, <coughs> and, and with my lived in, <coughs> I lived with my parents and siblings in Poland, in a nice city nearby. My grandparents, my uncle and aunts and children, but this has changed in September '39 when Germany invaded Poland. And then we, the next year, they formed the ghetto in Sosnowitz, the city where I was living. And there was a restricted area where Jewish people could walk. We had to wear uniforms, actually, you know, whatever coat, Star of David, the yellow Star of David, mm -hmm. written you, David means Jew. And like young people, when we went out in the street, they took us to or uh, uh, sweep the streets, do toilets for the SS. And the food was rushing and it was very bad. But anyway, this lasted about 40, 1943, mid 43, mid of the night, the SS came, took us, took us, they gathered us to a big building in the city from there, they took us on big black buses to drive to concentration camp. And there was about 140 young girls and women where I stayed to 1945 after we got liberated. We had to work. I was working in a spinner eye factory, spinning yarn from wet things to big rolls. You had to lift it manually had to wear a, a rubber apron, like you know, and lift these heavy things. And they went to dry the yarn. It's and amazing. It, sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. No. So. I, I and then when he had to go to the bathroom, the guard went with us. You couldn't go by yourself. We had to walk to work 10 kilometers every day, every morning. Oh we also, before we went to work, we had an appeal outside and they were telling us that if anybody st should run away then get killed oh my the barracks were around with wires all around the wires and how old were you i was 12 no 14 at that time i was 12 anyway yeah oh my gosh how you'll be sharing this story today at the summit what do you hope people get from hearing your story your when stories after we were liberated in 1945, I found my cousin who was nearby in another camp. She had typhus. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of people died from malnutrition because the food was so terrible. Anyway, my cousin, they took us buses. The, <coughs> the Eng Englishman liberated us, took us to different places. They asked where we want to go, and he said, we want to look where our homes were. The Polish people occupied the area, you know, and anyway, we couldn't find nobody. Polish people were living in our homes, everything different. And anyway, my cousin found the Red Cross. Her sister in Sweden through Red Cross, and then we emigrated. That but life was very, very bad, really. We are I so glad. It was so bad. When you come and look for your parents, look for you, you found nothing. I found a picture of my aunt at a Polish place. The woman wouldn't give us, but my cousin took her under the coat. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Said gosh. anyway, yeah. You know, I it I was ninth, 2013. Me and my daughter went to United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Mm -hmm. They have living uh, my living testimony over there. And uh, it's a picture of us. We had a, we had a re reunion. There were a lot of people who second generation World War II re veterans. It was a big celebration. President Clinton was the Ellie Wiesel, you know. It must have felt good to, right. to, to have that and to be a part of that. Rose, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I was morning. married 42 years. <laughs> well, that Aww. is great. That is an inspiration. I have two wonderful children. Five Aww. grandchildren. Oh, my goodness. Where can we, when, when's the okay, summit? So this is today, right? The, this is at I'll the basis it, of the summit. I moved to the summit 2009, <laughs> 2009, 2010, me and four residents became Bat Mitzvah. Oh, them. nice. <laughs> Hey, okay, Wonderful. go Mazel check top. out the, su the I, summit at first. I leave it to summit. I <laughs> love it over the <laughs> day. At we love you, Rose, and we love you. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the people are wonderful. A lot of great stories. We're going to hear them all. <laughs> we can go. We'll be right back. But Joyce, we want to hear more. Yeah. We have, we have wonderful people.